Open House Thursday. Welcome to the show. I'm Mariah Afolabi Brown, as always. I have the ladies here with me. Hi, ladies. Hi, Hi Mariah. Mariah. Welcome into the building. Yo, yo, yo. Good morning. Good morning. So, how are you planning for your trip? Ah, uh, I have. I went. I had my tests. Yeah. Oh, you did a test. My yellow blood pressure. Fever. Blood, whoosh, yellow oh, fever. The blood pressure test. What are talking about? To do. The um, blood pressure. My blood pressure. This arm, one eighteen over sixty. 117 over 80. You do the CT scan? Perfect. Okay. Because of your headache, Perfect. you did the, the CT was scan. Like, no, he just took my blood. Mm. So he's doing diabetes. And I haven't, he said he would call me in three hours. I haven't heard from him. Now I'm very worried because I've not heard from him. <laughs> You'll be okay. You'll be fine. Meanwhile, he was like, eh, 50 something year old, your blood pressure is perfect. I'm impressed. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. She's happy, and that's right. You just <laughs> go, <laughs> go, <laughs> you just go back. You just go back. Anyway, I leave for Australia the weekend. Yeah. Dancing. A whole month, right? Dancing, no, uh, yeah, three weeks. Dancing workshop. I am really excited because my dancing is fine. I'm that's sitting here with two people. You don't recognize me. Yeah. It's all the way in Australia they've recognized me. Yeah. They have called me to come and do right, dance. You, dance there. you thought I was dancing on the set. Come on, sit down, Jack. <laughs> I said I they, they, do, they don't recognize me. I do, I'm, since you have been on this show, I've, I danced. No, you haven't. Oh, and I've been... I said they don't recognize. You know, when you, you have too. something in your hand. You're right. You a know? prophet is not recognizing his own home. Exactly, home. exactly. Yeah. You see, Australia, they have, yeah, come, to, they have come to call me to come and check my bum bum. I check my bum bum. Except for them in Australia. Several, uh, several, and then we will, we will culminate in a um, show. Uh, uh, people that fantastic. I teach will have a show. So I'm, well I'm done, like Mikey. really, really excited. And then when uh, you come back, we have to do it big and recognize you. How are you doing? I'll send you I'm videos. amazing. Yes, I'm very I'll send grateful. you videos, even though I know you won't show it. Okay, they have actually recognized you in Nigeria. You're one yes, of the most influential people of African descent. We're supposed to be ringing the bell at the Nigerian Stock Exchange yes, tomorrow. So tomorrow, you know? right? So you have been recognized at home, and you have taught also, us to dance. She's amongst those that actually also help them out in the well, Kalakuta Queens. Yeah, yeah so you people the know that you are, people took, you are the Kalakuta dancer. You were the one in charge of choreography. Yeah, but Ali Austin Peter has told us. So don't come and be saying we don't recognize you so here. Love you if anyway. BAP recognizes me, is that your view? Okay, your view. your view. Okay, so your view. I say your view. YK, we love Antivisi. you very much in your <laughs> view. Your view, Okay, Mikey, we, I've been watching we'll have this old. conversation after because I need to understand exactly. I feel like there's more to this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just, how are you doing, Jim? Okay, how's your weekend? I'm how are you actually planning? amazing. I, I have a lot of plans for the weekend. Um, my business seminar, I was supposed to go to the U.S. for a business conference, uh, but we're going to be live streaming on Saturday and Sunday. I also have an event Saturday, Sunday afternoon, um, civil society, talking about good leadership. And oh, these people have been calling me for good leadership. I think something is there. We will see, Sha. But the so whole from to the US. No, we're going to be live streaming. Okay, um, from in the US. Hotel. Okay. Yeah. Saturday and Sunday. It will be um, nights, overnight, because right. of timing here. Yeah. But Fantastic. we're very excited. Madam, any plans for the weekend? I think it's still too, a little bit too early to plan for the weekend. Oh, Thursday. Uh, Thursday. Oh, the weekend starts tomorrow. on Thursday. No, I'm not. Uh, well, you can hear my voice. I've been struggling with this cold. Well, yeah. I know what's so annoying about the cold is at night, because you cannot sleep with the AC or the fan on. So it's really hot and you can't sleep. And then in the mornings when the fresh air comes you in, you start you sleep in the same room. No, he sent me out of the room yesterday. He said he's tired. He cannot be staying up all night with me. Because hey, of my illness. Nigerian so men, they're so mm, So he threw me out. Ah, what he wanted me out of our room. Let us have the culture. Oh, yeah. Exactly, let's you know, please. Yeah. Uh, that's he, how you both will do. He said, well, I agree with him. He said, see, he's on the road chasing money. Who will chase him money? So I let him get off with that. Ah, man, when I was younger, you know, those earlier days of. Your, your, your boyfriend has a cold and you're like, you have no problem, man. You just uh, you, you are the game. You are the game. You won't have problem. Big guy. <laughs> we have problem. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's see, man. Sometimes you won't just go back to those days when love was so sweet. No. Yeah. Love is has to be deliberate. Yeah, my own love is sweet, too. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not it's not sweet. We enjoy that deliberate. It's de de deliberate sweetness. Deliberate sweetness. Yeah, if not, eh, it's just go still. <laughs> I'm, I'm toasting my partner. Okay, you let's are be toasting him. I'm, I'm, I'm toasting him so that okay. you can say, oh, she said that my love is sweet. <laughs> is he following you to Australia? No. no. Oh. Oh. So I sent so him a text He left me for morning. three months. I'll leave him for another three weeks. Why mm. I sent him a text this morning. I said, I am already missing you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's so romantic. That's why you have got pressure. Our cake. 
from oh, cake yeah, flair. Cake flair. Mm. It's without our cake. I bought the cake. I bought the cake. Cake flair. Let's go on a bagel right back. Cake. 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 I just decorated our table with their cake, please. Excuse Let's me. It's our own. It's our cake. No, that's you. Right, it's Thursday, we're just in all the way, so they're going to breeze through the front pages. CBN finds four banks, 5.8 billion naira, orders lenders MTN to refund 8.1 billion. I read that story several times. I, did, I didn't understand it. Did, were you guys able to understand this? <laughs> Which story? one? That major headline, the, the ah. legal funds repatriation. Anyway. Yeah. You know, I read I did, it. I, did, I, read tried, it and read it. I read it like three times. Uh, well, I, I kind of got the gist, gist okay. but my headache is was coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm free... And for free, fair 2019 elections, Wari assures Theresa May. Police nab profit for allegedly killing lover for ritual. Ocean Poll, APC inaugurates 63 member campaign team. 48,000 jostle for 2,000 jobs in Ikiti. Let courts determine what security threat is. Falano replies Buhari. Suspected headsmen attacked play two villages, kill pastor, wife, kids, burn 95 houses. And Kwakonso, Ego Square belongs to all of us. Nigerians say, uh, Taraki. All right. Uh, uh, the, the, um, you interested. talk about Plato. Let me talk about the prophet. Yes, yes. go ahead. Olushola Akindele. He had been going out with this lady, Iyanu, for about two years. She came to the house. They, after they made love, he used a pestle and smashed, her, smashed head. her head, cut off the head hmm. and the hands, then gave it to his pastor and they buried it. Um, at, um, behind uh, the church, the church compound. It was the... Um, the composing body? The, 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 it was found by the... Baleo. The ballet of the area, mm -hmm. who now said, um, called the police. Anyway, the guy says he doesn't know what came oh. over him. Okay, yes, yes. He, he has actually admitted that he did right. it. He doesn't know what came over him. They arrested him, the pastor, and his landlord, who... Well, I rented don't... the apartment to him. <laughs> Were they rented the apartment to, to him? do rituals? Yes, it was of course, it must have been rituals. Right. But I think we should also mention the name of the church so that people yes. would know. I think Some the name Christ. founder of um, Lion of Judah Church of Christ right. yes. in Abule. I think the Plato story mm -hmm. very quickly. Street, Abule. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I, you know, I didn't even hear about this until I read it this morning. Mm. It said on on the on Tuesday, mm. um, armed headsmen. Got into, went into this village, killed eight people, burned down 95 homes, stole over 300 cows. Mm. But you know what is really sad? Um, the pastor there, Reverend Adamu Giang Wurim, who was killed, his wife and three kids, right. you know, burned. were were killed and burned beyond recognition. Mm. Really you know, this is really sad because this is Berkeley again. This again. is where we right. hear the stories happen you over know, and the over. And funny I'm thing, uh, on okay. Tuesday in the papers, they were saying, oh, that Plato is relatively, is, is relatively safe. safe now. Yeah. Yeah. Khan yeah. had a conference recently yeah, saying that. It was so two days, days after, after that conference that this, this happened. Just 2,000 jobs suddenly became available in Ikiti. And for the 8,000, I was just wondering. Uh, no, so the outgoing governor of Ikiti State, Governor Fire Shea, um, as a passing gift, employing 2,000 government workers. But some people are saying that that's almost like a Incoming wage bill. Incoming governor, uh, governor to be, Fire yeah. Me says is in bad, bad taste. Right. Because like, it is struggling to pay right. salaries of the existing exactly. workers. Why would you employ 2,000 new workers to make so, it difficult for the exactly incoming you, governor? To, to, make, mm -hmm. um, to quickly add, they have, they've gone to the election tribunals. Um, um, incoming governor Fire is defending himself with right. 35. Five. Yeah, I heard that. 35 lawyers. defense lawyers. Moving mm. on now to the nation. It's, it's not in the papers. Let's move on, please, to the okay. nation. <laughs> it's not our topic. MTN to refund $8 billion as CBN finds four banks, 5.8 billion naira. Picture here of our president and Theresa May. Uh, Buhari to May. 2019 polls will be free, fair, and credible. Ex-DSS boss still in custody. APC decides on primary today. And federal government... State debts paid $22 billion. Right. So this ex DSS boss, who has that story? I, I, do, read, I read that. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, um, Lawal Daura, the former DSS boss, that had, they said he's still arrest, house so, arrest. Yeah, house arrest, basically. And um, since then, you know, nothing has been said about it. But uh, 
those who have visited him have said, well, this man did it in the national, in the national interest of our country. He didn't mean, and then he really feels bad that he's been tagged a mole of the opposition party. So, and also they, that that they, was, they said that the president, they're waiting for the president, president to, take to actually a on, take a decision on the whole Dara case. And we thought actually he's been um, uh, he's sacked. Fired. No, he, he's been but fired. But the case is, is that he's still, still open. Under house yes. arrest. Yeah, but there, there was a source that said, I read that in the Vanguard, I don't know if it was in the uh, Tribune, that said that he acted by, he, under orders, he was under orders. Collective Collective orders. Let me take it in Vanguard. Me, right, no, guys, okay. it's right here. Um, Vanguard bombshell siege to National Assembly was a collective decision, says Daura, mm -hmm. okay. saying that the, the top cells of, the, of other agencies, as long, alongside him, were the one that took that decision wow. to um, siege, take the siege on National Assembly. UBA grows gross earnings by 16%. No president influenced my decision as CBN governor in five years, says Sanusi. Uh, national interest versus rule of law, rule of law and security. Uh, Fallon, I think he took that also in punch. Yeah. Yeah. Protesting youth allegedly killed two policemen over death of colleague in Lagos. Played two attacks, pastor, wife, three children, others killed. And judge hands off suits seeking to declare headsmen terrorists. Okay, so um, I have the Falana human story. human interest. I was Go very ahead. interested in the Falana story. Actually, mm -hmm. he's standing by the rule of law. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was saying that. Um, it's the courts that should, should determine, determine mm. what is of, what, what national, of national interest security. or not. But however, because if the courts are not the ones to determine, then any precedent, you know, the can be Apart lateral. from that, it's yes, we can even link it to be. the we can even link it to this Dara story where he says what he did was, you know, in for national, national interest. interest. So that anybody, any DG of DSS can take that decision. And say it's for not national allow, interest. It will not allow the court. And say it's for national, national interest. interest. Yeah. No, um, I, told I wanted you. to take I told the, you the other day. Uh, protesting youth killed two policemen um, over death of colleague. This happened in the area G, command of um, police in Ogba. Mm -hmm. So what happened was this policeman had gone to um, raid an area where they had people smoking hem, Indian hem, and Shino, trying to avoid being arrested, jumped over a fence that collapsed on him and he died. He was taken to loot, but he died. And then the youths around the area then stormed the um, police station, killing two policemen because of what happened. Right. Okay. Okay. Policemen didn't have guns in their... They mm -hmm. attacked a patrol team and killed that one police. Uh, Let's two move policemen. on now to Daily Sun very quickly. APC National Working Committee disagrees over direct primaries. They're still fighting over this issue. Hopefully they take a decision today. Nigeria, Britain signed defense economic pacts. Anambra, Delta, Kogi, Kwara, three others at risk of flood, says NIHSA. Eight killed, 95 houses burnt in fresh split two attack. Uh, all not well with Nigeria, says Kwakonso, as he declared mm. in Abuja yesterday. Kwakonso. And Kwakonso. Mm -hmm. And Reverend Father Mbaka <laughs> accuses Buhari of Igbo marginalization. Can you imagine? <laughs> Our own Father Mbaka, while talking yesterday, said that the Igbos have been marginalized. Why? How would he generalize this? Wait, so Based on his own personal experience. He said that he I'm went sorry. for a loan for his agricultural project and he had to sleep in Abuja for weeks. Yeah, three weeks. And they did not give him the loan. And so far I'm back, I say that under President Buhari, Igbos have been marginalized. So he makes it. a general statement because he had an experience where he a was finding it difficult, yeah. find, find it difficult to get a loan from the government. And I mean, not in the government, I think the, the uh, Bank of Agriculture. Bank of Agri so Agriculture. So he's saying that he is saying now, that they will only give the northerners. How did he, how did he come up with that? that? He, he, he has making kind of 470 hectares yes, of, of land. land. And, he, wants and to... he has the farmers that he's just trying to alleviate the poverty, um, poverty and the. Oh, he uh, just wants to make money. He just wants to alleviate the poverty. That's, yeah, that's, no, that's, but it doesn't that's, matter. That's I think that the he meets all work. The uh, youth that yes. have just come out of university. Thank that, you. That's the word. Is too much of so it's too much of a person for us to have to make loose statements out like that. Mm -hmm. You can't generalize that only northerners are giving loans. Please prove it. Don't just come on the front page of the papers and say things that are not backed up. It with would facts. be nice to hear from the Bank of Agriculture to make sure that he even like gets all the requirements yeah, that probably. he needs to. Moving on now to, to get Nigeria the Tribune. Of adoration. <laughs> Nigeria <laughs> Tribune. Nigeria UK signed deal to fight Boko Haram, so they're helping us again, right? Hmm. Forex infractions, as CBN slams 5.87 billion fine on four banks. Uh, APC would decide dates of primaries at today's NEC meeting, hopefully. Dara opens up National Assembly. Siege was a collective decision. 
I think we talked about most of the stories. Yeah, yeah there is a me. Yes, except uh, our visiting prime thank minister. You. Yeah. Thank you. Um, go ahead. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love her Ankara jacket, actually. Oh, I that was a sorry jacket. Why did it was a show case jacket, actually. Yeah, talk. Made by a Nigerian designer. Anyway, yes. while here and visiting the president, she visited the governor of Lagos State. She signed a pact yes. um, in Abuja. In Abuja. To, to help Nigeria with um, fighting terrorism and um, a trade agreement. You remember, mm -hmm. they have Brexit. And so she mentioned that because of Brexit, uh, they live in Europe, that they are now more open to trade with so they other money. countries. Mm -hmm. They need trade. They need our money. I mean, she had to wear she, an Achoke jacket, you know, that I for that. She's grumbling. The whole matter <laughs> was when the South African president came. Yeah. He brought paper for them to sign. And, uh, our president said, said no. I, I can't sign it. Yes, I must read it first. True. But this was, they just came. They didn't even use the four hours. Yeah. No, or you both or you both came. Like ah, like a black man. We have to go. No, like a no. He didn't say he signed. Right. No, they said they signed it. Okay, they signed, okay, they signed it. Already. Yeah. yeah. Signed, oh. I, 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 I saw the picture. I saw the picture. We saw the picture. Okay. Yeah, so there's two. Why did the South Africa signing? meeting is able to improve on his site? Uh, maybe one. true. Actually, yeah, I, 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 I do agree with that. Let's go on the break. Because the African fact, he refused to sign. Maybe oh, he has now. Oh, yeah. Let's go on a break. Let's go on a break. It is Thursday. Be quiet. Let's go on a break. And we come back. But Adi Oshu was all smiles. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see my video? Adi Oshu was all smiles. I mean, it's our country people that came. People are here. Yeah, speaking. They are English together. <laughs> okay, let's go on a break. I didn't say that. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. Hmm. So, um, comfort is a huge driving force in any relationship. We have heard different cases of several women who prefer to marry an unfaithful but a very wealthy man, hmm. whereas some women will not fear of the word unfaithfulness and would rather marry a man who is poor, but at least, not even, let's not say poor. Let's even say extremely poor. They, no, not extremely poor. That just doesn't have a lot, but is still faithful. Okay. We ask if you would, if you would rather have a poor man mm. or a rich man who is unfaithful to you. You can join the conversation. Remember, it's Thursday. We're just gisting all the way. So let's hear your thoughts. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a free flow Thursday. Yeah. Call us on 070-806-6801. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweets. I'm asking this question, ladies. Because we're all mature women here. Mm -hmm. We've been in relationships, we've been with men in all our lives. And we've gotten to a stage where we can look back and say, okay, if I really we're could do turn it again. the hands of, if I was going to do it again, like, listen, we've seen them, we've seen the way with the men in our lives. And we're thinking, listen, and we see ladies who hmm. are doing well and maybe they are married to rich men who are cheating on them, but they are just happy. Hmm. In your view, if you, if you have to choose again, Mm -hmm. What would you go with? Why do you want, you like you want to go first? You know why? I'm not a <laughs> lady foundation. Okay. I have a privilege, very rare privilege, of knowing what your thoughts and why case thoughts <laughs> will be on this issue because we have discussed something very similar mid 2016. Then it was about, um, I think, just her, um, poverty, and, class. poverty and wealth. <laughs> um, the comma in the topic today is that cheating part. Hmm. hmm. Because every woman, in fact, every human being would like to be comfortable, as you said, Mariah. So is that infidelity that will a woman, in today's Nigeria, let, let's just put it in context. Okay, yeah. 2018, after recession, will a woman today just, you know what, stay with her poor husband who is very faithful, who cannot afford to cheat? Or... If he just meets, you know, one very rich woman like the queen of one country you, okay. that has plenty <laughs> money. So, okay, I want to, but I mean, thanks. I don't want to forget the thoughts that just came to my head because let's think about it. This issue of infidelity. Mm. 
Is it over bastardized, overused, over... We make it look as if it's such a big deal. Oh, he cheated on me and that's a deal breaker. Overemphasize. We make it... We, this issue of infidelity, is, is it something we can, that can be managed? <laughs> or is something it a deal say, breaker? You know it's a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. Once you, once you can somebody something? else, mm -hmm. that's it for me. What hey. I was going to say, mm -hmm. before Jumokre really interrupted me, my <laughs> thoughts, was, you see... I come from the school of thought where I don't believe any man can be faithful. Hey, well, Listen, okay. my school of thought. Hey. So, now, since I don't believe any man can be faithful, and if he's faithful, well, better for me. If he's not, <laughs> it's, better I, for I, him, there is no shock. <laughs> there is no shock. Okay. I will not leave a man because he's unfaithful. Okay. Ah. I will leave a man if he uh, embarrasses me and rubs my nose and inside I, yeah. that is so delicate. if it's openly if it's discreet about it you don't mind I, I, well, mm. I say I come from a school mm. where I do not believe that in fact the men that are even faithful money ah what is so what is so <laughs> what? <laughs> what is, you know they what they say for he has it there for he has it in here for would you like to argue your boy for and yeah it's not to you okay listen let me finish let me just finish let me just finish now if, since I belong to this school, uh -huh. now, so it's an easy question you, for you. You that you you don't have money, uh -huh. you will now come and be rubbing my nose inside. Come, <laughs> but or you that you will buy me Phantom, what do you call that thing? Rolls Royce. Phantom Rolls Royce. Twenty eighteen. Then you will be over. I will stay with you. <laughs> I will stay with you. Why, okay. And I will I will respect you. I already. And mean. I will respect myself inside my car. Right. But, okay. Easier okay. to cry in a phantom. Ah, it's very easy. In fact, the the opulence of the car will just be. Okay, but see, when we look at life the way life is, as I said, I want to also look at this as mature women. Mm. A young girl can say, "Oh, I want to get fatal." But when you're mature and you realize that there's so much more to life, should you lose sweat? over the fact that your rich husband is unfaithful or even your poor husband is unfaithful. I mean, would you lose sleep over that? Let me come to Miriam. Yeah, okay, you see, um, easy answer to this is money is important. Money, they say, you know, I just recently saw this, they say money can buy all things, mm. but poverty can buy anything. Baby. So is it true, money, if we're just going to answer yes or no, money first. Mm. But relationships, the thing is, eh, huh, it's so scary that if we put in the context of how rich is this person? Is the person a billionaire? Am I staying? Billionaire. No, 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 like, no, no. Like Bill Gates. Gates. Remember the Dane Dave Fernandez kind of money? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 yeah, I will stay. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. I will stay. Really? You yeah. will stay? I will stay. Ah, I will stay. You know, the, I have a lot of things. Bank, you know, I have a lot of MD type. Mm -mm, no, we might not stay. I what mean, how much more different? Yeah, you know, can you know, what can be you know, what's a million? What's a yeah, one fifteen thousand naira salary? I mean, is a director in a company? I don't. What are fifty thousand naira salary? I don't even know if we'll sit be in the same. I'm sorry. Hey, oh my <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Women are <laughs> wicked. Okay. What about going to see this person? I don't Women know. Women <laughs> are wicked. Okay, listen, guys. I, I want you guys to. I don't think you've answered my question. Let me help you. Let me, let, let, me, let, me, let me help you understand what it's saying. We are all mature here. We have men in our lives. We face ah. challenges every day. Uh, ah, you're married or you have a man in your relationship, mm -hmm. in your life where little things like you want to get a house together, you want to get a car, are issues, there's headache yeah. just to buy a That's car. What I'm saying. Just what you want to change your wardrobe and you have to save for months. Uh -huh. you, want to, you want to travel to the UK and you have to save for months. Or you, have to stay, you have to stay in your auntie's house in the UK because you can't afford to stay in a hotel. Mm -hmm. Those are little things that you know, it doesn't mean you're poor. It just means that you're not as comfortable as you would like to be. So if a man in that situation, you're married to a man where you just have the basics, but you want to have more, would so you, just do you is, is it okay for him to cheat? No. Or if your man is very wealthy, like the Fernandez type money, mm -hmm. is that okay for him to cheat? Let me let you okay, come in here. I want to put this discussion in context. Mm -hmm. Because either he's rich or poor and he cheats, um, at that point is when you make that decision. To make it more difficult is a choice from the beginning, meaning that this poor man, you have been married to him for 20 years in one room with five children because the only entertainment is, you know, five children. Uh, and it's been very difficult. People cannot even go on family outings because you take the whole back of the bus and still lap yourselves. And then this rich woman now sees him 
as a cleaner in one company and says, just one night or something, and a girl who is faithful to you comes to you to ask you that, well, this is the proposition from that madame, and she's willing to wheel over her Fernandez-type wealth to us. Wife, if you agree, I will buy you a house in Banana Island, Phantom Rolls Royce 20. Before he finishes that sentence, I'm no like, what are you still waiting here? Uh, but Off you go, quick, 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 quick. The so children need food. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so. But wait, <laughs> women are very emotional. A relationship, as much as it is really personal, and I cannot tell Miriam how to live her life, mm -hmm. you know, but will you be able to um, overcome the emotional trauma of knowing, you know, if you did it behind you, is a different thing, but that you now know you are even a part of the agreement. You know, and then after that, you still have to live with him, regardless of. You know, let me bring somebody's story. There's some people that, that, some people that, that already do this. There's some right? people that are in relationship right now, mm. and I know that they are happy. Yes, they don't have money, mm. but they are actually happy. They are content, and yes. that that is so much I'm content. more important to them than anything else. Not the house, because if you think about it, let's think about it. See, a relationship or a marriage is not just about you, A and B. There are kids involved. What are you teaching your children when it's all about, oh, living in this big mansion and having... Thing, really, so the point is that when you take the decision of, okay, I'll allow you to cheat, how would, your, what, what, how would your cheating affect me, the children that we've had? So if we say, oh, I don't mind you cheating because you're rich, absolutely not. Because then your children will not feel as if it's normal, it's okay for me to have X amount of women in my life and then and cheat on all of them. You so know, you see, it, it goes, it, it, there's a ripple effect into those Mariah, kind of you know, you know, in both people, they like to do, stati they like to take th statistics. Mm. And they have taken statistics about this infidelity. Mm. They say women who are young and poor cheat more than men. So, first of all, if a young, if a girl is young and still looking for a man, or she's young in a new marriage, mm. she would cheat for better things based on statistics. Wow. So, Older women, older richer women are likely to be more faithful in marriages. So the thing is... Nigeria. Why? No, I more Nigerian women, women now are No, no, we, we're saying richer, older yeah. women. Yeah. They have no reason to... Because mostly, why no, women... No, 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 why, why, why women usually cheat? We cheat for like a richer person to get more wealth. No, 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 no. Usually, that's so what which we do. Some are denied. We are talking so about which women numbers. are totally denied. That's the activity. They did not conduct the research with the rich women <laughs> who have small, small toy boys. Because your guy is not always at home. This is your statistics. I do not agree okay, with let, you. Let's go, let's go on <laughs> right now. But we'd like to hear our viewers' views on this. And also, we we'll also try to tweak it a bit and say, if, okay, let me, let's come back, we'll be right back. Let's, let's go. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So we're going to continue the conversation. We'll take some tweets first. YK, you have any tweets for us? <laughs> yes. Ziggy Bank says, me, I cannot stay with a poor and faithful woman, likewise. Uh, uh, <laughs> is that a man? Yes. Jesus. Speak the truth, people. <laughs> uh -huh. Eugene, Eugene <laughs> says good morning to the guy in the studio. Who is the guy? <laughs> Mari Rukaya says, a poor man may not cheat because he doesn't have money yet. Mm. Wait till he becomes rich first. Comfort is very important, but money is not everything. In this case, the individual matters. True. Okay. Chase, he um, says, in Nigeria today, no woman will want to spend the rest of her life with a man that cannot put good food on the table. Lami Hetty says, most women that tolerate their cheating husbands are also cheating on him. It's vice versa. Olua Wemimo says, hmm, real hot topics. I don't even know where to start. God bless Nigeria. <laughs> okay, so Ade Omo Ade says, uh, my wife got married to me when we had nothing. Nothing, just a room of my own. I shared, not a room of my own. I shared a room with my brothers in our parents' house. Thank God today we both have our own houses, both in Nigeria and the UK. But the question is, Ade Omo Ade, are you cheating on your wife now? That's oh, the question. Okay, let me take this call from <laughs> MMM. Are you there? Hello? Okay, I think oh, we lost that call. We're still, I, yeah, I still want yeah. us to. Gabriel Abu, let him. Oh, she's there. Oh, she's there. Yeah. I mean, are you there? Hello? Yeah. Go ahead, please. Good morning, my Good morning. Morning. Welcome to our Justin Thursday. Hello. You're live. Go ahead, please. Okay. I, my name is Benin. I want to say, presently I am mad. 
I will I will not leave my husband because he cheated. No but but I will leave him on a way he doesn't respect me. Mm -hmm. If you rub it on my face, he may cheat, he may do anything outside. Mm -hmm. or, you know, I do it. But I will never leave my husband because he cheated. Mm -hmm. But I will advise other women because I've seen young couples. They just learn that husband is cheating or have a with another person and the car can leave. But I'd rather you remain in your home. Right. Thank you very much. See, this I point MN question. is making is what, what I want to also drill on a bit because a lot of women today are accepting infidelity as no big deal. A lot of young people are saying it's a deal breaker. And guess what? By religious standards, all the religions that we have in Nigeria, but even by our culture, culturally, our great grandparents were polygamous. They married the woman, they didn't cheat. Because a woman had to be a virgin when she got married. Can I ask you this question? Uh, can, can I ask you this question? Okay, your husband has money, he's married to you. He doesn't want to cheat on you, so he brings in another wife. Yeah, so he brings in 15 so he's wives. Married, so he's marrying number two. What will you do? Uh, Ah, it's a very easy. Easy. That's why it's legalized by marriage. Hang, 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 hang them. What I want us to leave this conversation with is mm -hmm. really let's define what this infidelity does to women. Okay. And let's agree on okay, is, should it be a deal breaker, really? Because let's leave the rich or poor thing. Because either way, your man is cheating on you. But is it comfortable to be cheated on yeah. as a rich man? For some women, it's a deal breaker based on religion. I can never trust you again. Um, for some, they would stick, and you've heard YK School of Thought and MM School of Thought. I mean, well, well, that won't break my home, right. you know. But at the end of the day, why did the man cheat? And if he cheats and then um, rubs it off on you, for instance, you stood by him all the time that he was poor. You funded the wedding. You did everything in support of him because you loved him and he stayed faithful because he was poor. Okay. Now, his career now improves. He now has small money. He's now bringing the girls home. He's not even doing it outside. How many ah. women will stay because of Phantom Rose, no. uh, Rose Royce? That, thanks for that story. In that situation, a woman can actually have a bit of confidence in herself. So you know what? Let me have my own corner in the house. Stick to my children. Train my children you see, while you're doing your own stuff. But well, we'll talk. We'll come to that. Okay. Let me take this call to Kenny. Kenny, are you? Oh, we lost that. Go ahead, okay. Mariam. For me, I think that um, if we had like a system where when a man cheats and you go to court for any reason for divorce, you get half-half, the way Oyimbo people get. Look at Tiger Woods. His wife, when he met her, she was a nanny. She did not contribute to his wealth. She had nothing, but they have kids. And when she, he cheated, she found out the big house is hers. She got lots of, a lot of money. Do so we have that the, that's what I'm saying. So we do not have that in Nigeria. Mm. So oh, that's why Nigerian no women will find it harder to leave a man. If the man is the one that's taking care of all the bills, your kids are in fantastic schools. You live in really nice areas. And then you know that leaving this man would mean giving up everything right. for the little girl or the older woman outside to now come and sit down right. and all the tears you've Fantastic. cried over the years is now That's gone. What, that, that, she will sit in that house. Exactly. That's the conversation I want us to yeah. have because lots and of women are in that so, shoe. Right? Yes, I do agree. Lots of women are in that shoes. And um, if you do not have anywhere else to go and you cannot go back to your parents' house, you will stay, but you will stay unhappy. Yes. So, and at the end of the day, it's not to live your life because of what society expects of you. It's to find happiness. So, that is key for all of us. For you, so you shouldn't trade your happiness and joy I don't think for so. all that. And Let I me take this off on Fatima. Fatima, are you there? Thanks for calling. Hello, good morning. Morning. Go ahead, please. Uh, please, uh -huh. I don't like the fact that women are saying that um, it can cheat, but it doesn't have to rub it on my face. Like, don't disrespect me. Like, what is the disrespect? The disrespect it's is already such that it's cheating. True. So I don't like that women are saying that he can cheat, but he shouldn't rub it on my face, he shouldn't disrespect me. Cheating is disrespect on its own, and it shouldn't be allowed. For me, it's a deal breaker. Okay, fantastic. I agree well. with and you. She, has a, she, has, she, she does have a point. Cheating is not okay. Cheating is already disrespect. But then we're asking, if you do not have... If it means that your life, if it means that your whole status will change, if it means that you move from from being comfortable to really poor, would it be a deal breaker? If it means that your children will have to leave the, that school, you will not have um, school fees to pay for your kids to go to that sort of school that you want, or travel, or live the lifestyle, Maybe would yeah. it be a deal breaker? Maybe not. Most of us would not take that decision no, and leave the home. We'll take that. We'll, we'll stay. Shock you. 
one girl put on Twitter that help me thank God though. I moved from the side chick to the main chick. She was cheating with this man that was married. He now broke up with his wife to now go and marry her. They now said, Pashot of Inno, Yale is outside the door. The broomstick, <laughs> they used to beat your uh, senior <laughs> wife. Is outside the door, but guess what? Because he was a rich man, the girl was very happy to be moving. Let him go and be cheating. Now we know of one actress that it happened to when she was marrying this older, wealthy Nigerian. Everybody was saying, "What's she looking for?" And then one day she now said, "Ah, it's too much. It's too much. Yo. I cannot do it again." And left the husband's house. Mm. So when you are poor, you can think that wealth is everything, mm. but. Okay. When you now get all the money, why okay, you will then realize that it's not everything. Now let me switch us. Let's take of Baba Sikira mm. that doesn't have money. Mm -hmm. That is now cheating with Mama Mukaila. Uh, <laughs> I will move from Baba that Sikira. One, that one, yeah, that, that, it happens. Right, right. Ah, because Yasikira, every time he touches Yasikira, she will get belay. Ma uh, <laughs> Mama has now become contraception. <laughs> that one has contraception. Maybe that one. Went to so, excuse me. What are, what are we saying? So, you're saying that if you are. So, should Yasikira with the seven children you. that she has. Let me tell you where ba uh, Baba Yasikira will stay. Yasikira with her seven children. Pack a load. From her small. <laughs> to another shanty. <laughs> where is she going? It's, that, it's a deal breaker. Okay, I agree. Where is Yasikira going? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that, that, that's, a, that, that's, that's a point. <laughs> I'm asking you a simple... Let me, let me take this Because call. we are doing Oyibo, it's a deal breaker. It's Oyibo <laughs> way. Let me take this, ah. let me take this call. Morning, are you there? Yeah, <laughs> Thanks for calling. Go ahead, Victory. Oyibo oh, God, they won't leave. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry? It's a nice A nice topic and a lovely presentation from the studio, from everyone. Talk about the company which you understand here. And more is not restricted to African culture alone. Thank you. Because, uh, because African culture has been noted for um, polygamy. Mm. Most of the men have been noted that the African culture portrays polygamy. But however, uh, to market sex, we must view this thing from different aspects. The visual of class will always come to play. Class mm. in the sense that there are some people Actually, you don't even really have time. Do you understand that? You don't even have time. So as a result of that, their wives normally cheat on them. Not because, because there is lack of communication, that there is no time for the woman. Definitely the woman will cheat on that man. You, have, you and I understand. Because mm -hmm. we've all been through different affairs, one or the other. But however, I am not supporting the idea of a man cheating on the wife. Oh, that's it. Vice versa. That's it. Yeah. Sometimes so, circumstances arise and things take place. I'm not supporting okay. it. I'm just being realistic. Exactly. Okay. So with Victor, as you said, cheating is universal. So we're talking of how do we respond to it? What do we do to, you know, to manage it? Abroad, you know, I heard um, Trump's first wife. She says, don't get mad, get even. Hey, she can what? say that because she comes from a society where the court will listen to her and give her half or more mm. if she deserves. But what happens here is that nobody's going to listen to you. So what you're going to do is, yeah, as you mentioned, to exactly, it's either you think, since I cannot leave, because if I leave, I'll have nothing, then I'll cheat on him. So what would happen is, maybe that is why we hear the stories now, we're hearing that married women are doing just as much as the men, so because they know that they can't leave, and they need to find their happiness so somehow. question, Waiki. Mm. Does it make cheating as illegal, as anti-religious and anti-cultural as it is, even still today, 2018, does it make it acceptable that exactly. the man doing That's it point, is a rich have, man? We have pastors, if a we have man, general overseers. If he's a poor man, you break his head. There are, there, there are geos that are faithful. I know my own geo is faithful. Well, how but do you know? I, I know he's faithful. Too, too, right don't, don't, no, you can't I know my own geo is faithful. Yeah. So yeah. I, the point I'm trying to make is hope. No, the point I'm trying to make is that there are men who are faithful because of the, because they fear God. Uh, Not so much of, oh, uh, you are the most beautiful person. It's mm -hmm. all about me respecting the union and who put the union together. So it is possible for a man to be faithful. Mm -hmm. Maria, you see, I do not even possible. trust a man that says to me he's faithful because he fears God. Uh, I would rather you're faithful because, you know, that's how I'm wired. Because I love you. fear God. Yes, because I love you. Because it's the way I'm wired. That's the one I trust. Love is not strong enough, YK. Look at that. Look at that. God does not work for me. In fact, I just... Oh, uh, yeah, let me right. tell you, love, 
Love is, trans is transient. Love oh. today is all butterflies. Oh. But guess what? Love is defined is can even be relative. Oh. Is that fear of the, of the God that brought you guys together? They say, you know what? I'm going to respect this human being. I'm not going to cheat on her. Not because you don't want to, but let the me The same man that will say sin, they're all, they're all sinning. No. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Mm. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Manuela. Go ahead. You ladies are doing great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Great job. Keep it up. Morelia, I want to tell you something. <laughs> Cheating is wrong. Yes. Whether poor or rich, <laughs> Cheating is wrong. We know we that. We agree. Yeni, I buy your point. Keep it up. Thank you. I have a cousin. They started poor. Today they are rich, and knowing that the husband she cared on her, she's not happy till tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Though she's still in the marriage, they're not happy. Mm. The truth here is, cheating is wrong. When you love a man or a man loves a woman, or find that he or she cheats, okay. that story can never be forgotten for life. Yes. That man, that stigma is there for life. Such a woman will not be happy in that home. Yeah, money is there. She wants the children to be comfortable. She wants the children to go or to be great. That at the back of her heart, she is sad whenever she remembers it. Thank you very much. So, so, so would you so trade so happiness for great. comfort? Emanuela makes a great point. I then have a question. Mm -hmm. What is most important to you as a wife? Human being or wife? As a wife. Um, uh, fidelity or comfort? Comfort in that your children can go to the schools that you want. You can go on holidays abroad. You have a nice car. Or that your man, you may even be extremely poor, but he's faithful to you. What's most important? Let me see. My answer to this is, if we're talking about real life, mm. I'd rather have both. I mean, you cannot... Choose say, no, oh. I cannot choose one now. If oh. we can, how can you ask any human being to choose one? Choose I'll, one. No, I'll have both. I can have a certain level of comfort and a man that... Okay, we'll come back to you. No, don't come back to me. <laughs> don't come back to me because I have a question for you. Uh -huh. Are you saying that all women who are in marriages, that uh -huh. their husbands are seemingly faithful, mm -hmm. but they are in extreme poverty, are very happy? What are we saying? There are some people that are unhappy so because of that poverty. No! Ah! Who is content in poverty? Who is content in poverty? I eat my bread. No! Ah! They say poor women are happy. Poor women? Just because their husbands are home, they are happy. No way. There are women living in the villages. They are happy. This is where I have a problem. Yes. You see? You, we call yourself poor. Don't exactly. Don't People look at you as wealthy. You are not, you are not in the ah! Yatikera's level. No! So you are not poor. Because you can still live in a... Hey, you, you, I've been to your house. You, are, you can climb upstairs. <laughs> eh? In the Asikina's house. He said... Uh, one room. Ah, okay. One room. Okay. All of them are... Let me, let me rest. No. This, so, poor... Don't, don't, don't tell me about poor. Let you me are rest. middle class. Okay. Middle class is different from poverty. Okay. Mm. So, what I'm saying to you here... Extremely yes. poor. Let, don't, me, don't. Wait, let, me, let me answer that question. Mm. So, Yasikira is here. Uh -huh. Basikira is here. Uh -huh. They are poor. Mm -hmm. But he's Extremely. there with her. They have companionship. And and they, they have, have children every year. No, they're not having children every day. Don't, don't, don't paint the worst case scenario. Okay. They have well, you're painting the worst case scenario on the other side. You understand that they are poor. Uh -huh. so and they, they have having just two children. children. Yeah. Uh -huh. They love each other. They are family. They stay together. They pray together. They do everything together. They raise their children. Their children grow up with great values. In good fact, I want to face you. I this, want to pay that, for family, this is, that family that is materially poor, mm. they come mentally rich because they've trained mm. their children in proper well with uh, the proper moral, moral, moral background for, them, for their kids. So it's not about the material wealth. It's how you, the kind of um, example you show for your children where they see man, woman, lead to your children. Mariah, that's, that's the legacy don't you live for your children. Let me even paint this story. See, we are painting. Mm. The rich home, they bring up their children well too. So don't say because a man is rich or that they have wealth that they cannot be faithful or I'm that saying. they cannot be happy. No, you know. No, I'm not missing the point. You're painting a very good poor yes. home. There are poor homes that we hear every time we say, because they are, I come from a poor home, that's why I turned into an armed robber. No. I don't know yeah, children from those homes. Right. Because I come from a poor yeah. home, that's right. why I went into right. drugs. Right. Those are the things we hear. You know, the, can I, let me just reiterate myself very well. You, you're right. In a rich home, you can have kids, grow up, amazing, mommy, daddy, family, great stuff. Same scenario. Mm -hmm. The same thing can also happen in a poor home. Mm -hmm. Don't act as if happiness is exclusive to the rich. That's the point I'm trying to make. A, a poor family can be rich and can be poor and happy. We don't have material wealth. A rich family, the same thing. We it's not just, about their ability to have money. Because money be, is just material. You can be rich and which, sad. 
We are not saying you cannot be yes, rich and sad. Yes, you can be rich and sad. I'm yeah. rich and happy. Rich and sad. I'm rich and happy too. But yeah. I'm just saying, don't paint your own scenario because you are not poor. You, you are not. Poor. I'm you are not extremely poor. poor. She's not even poor. No, 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 you have work. In Nigeria today, you're either rich or poor. Or she's, she's, like, no. she's just not extremely poor. She's That's all. Like, Please. Class. I want to have on one thing. We are poor. I'm poor. Please. Okay, go ahead. Consentment. Yes, simple. Is the only thing I've picked out of this discussion. Because, like I said, hey. in middle 2016, we, dis we discussed it, which are happy or poor are happy. There can be happiness and unhappiness in both Drink, Gary, money, afternoon, afternoon, and you're, you're fine. You see, Kwaike, in right. your Rolls Royce, because you may be crying every day. Because... Don't worry, I won't cry. Right. You, you, know, you, you know why? Do you know why? Do you know the reason why Moraya would say someone why? is drinking Gary money after a night is happy because she has never drunk Gary money after a night. She has no. one. No. 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 no, 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 please. I let me go to Mariam. My wife, go ahead. Say, this was Mariam. The person that drinks Gary morning after and doesn't know that there's something called plantain cheese. Who said? But not, no, she doesn't know. That doesn't know that can't be. There's chocolate. She has this she has this she has never seen. You see now? Yes. Mariam, like I shall, listen, listen, I want you to understand something, Mariam. Mm. The person that drinks Gary morning after the night doesn't know there's something called caviar. Doesn't know there's something called burger. Oh, she can't do care less. That Gary right now is everything, so she's that's content. It. Don't tell me about burgers. She's not interested. Excuse me. So, I disagree. You don't act as I disagree. Because because you I disagree. Have an idea. Okay. I disagree. You are, you are talking like uh, our rich politicians. Yes. Because who have lost for thought. you to tell me that the person that is drinking Gary morning, afternoon, and night doesn't know, she doesn't know there is rice. Okay. See, she's the one that. Or chicken. Or meat. Or meat. <laughs> ah, what are you saying? I didn't say that. The person that is drinking Gary wants to eat meat. Let me take it. Ah, wants pepper. Okay. He's like, ah, ah. Okay. She can't okay. do ah, ah, dry fish. She's like the Gary. Let me go ground up. I Let me. She can't find the Gary. I have a call. I have a call. I have a call, please. Hang in there. I have a call. Oh, so people eat things like this. I have a call. Is that okay? Thanks. Are you there, Funke? Please go ahead. Yeah, good morning. Go ahead, please. Uh, Murari, I think we just need to be a little bit realistic. Mm. Okay. Stop painting both extreme rich or extreme mm. poor. Okay. I'm going to limit it to everyday people. Okay. Okay. Averagely, I'm coming from where Yeni is coming from. Mm. I will tell you 90 to 95 percent of men cheat. Rich oh, where is this statistic poor. coming from? from Did you do a survey? No, I'm not you may say there's no <laughs> fact. I told you I live in Magodo, right? Yeah. Yeah. I have my own fair share of women and men, she and I'll tell you yeah. women to cheat. But let's even forget you painting a very rich, a poor person, training up good kids with good values. Yes. When you are extremely poor, there's even a limit to what you can even achieve. When you're extremely... So don't even paint extreme poverty yet. Yeah. You don't even know what it is about. True, but we are even talking about, would you know. rather be rich and be unfaithful or be poor and have a faithful husband, right? Yes. How do you still come with the fact that men with cheeks Everybody just has his own the level. That make a roadside rich. mechanic cheat on their wife. Oh! Oh, I've seen them all! Cheat with their wife with their 2,000 in salary. <laughs> that will tell you that. What do you was It could be a deal breaker if you want it to be a deal breaker. But the fact is, when you leave your husband, you and Jim is talking about whether you don't have anywhere, even if you have somewhere to go, who else are you going to? Another yes. man? That is why most men would rather... It's not this one that you're happy or you're not happy. Your happiness is in you. Hey. Your happiness you. is in you. You choose. You also might be cheating and you choose to be like, if he's not disrespectful or if he's not rubbing it in your face, Thank you very much if you're again. good with it. Let's sit on Twitter. I can't yeah. tell my story no, again. My, I do as, a, as a single mother or a single parent, the next man you are going to, or you're going to tell me you're going to be alone for the rest of your life, mm -hmm. so that one's going to be extremely Because as a single you, mother, let's, be, let's even go into that. Gonna, I thank you very much for getting, as a single mother, yeah. both of you. Single for a single mother, would you rather be somebody else's second wife? Or just tell a single mother because if you're that, 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 that man is cheating with you, uh, you're a single mother. You're yeah, the side chick now. You're yeah, the side chick. Would uh, you rather be a side chick? No, of course not. Uh, I say it's not good for your chick. You, this side argument Mariam was saying now, you, no. want to, you want to maintain a status, no. you know, something no. happened. No, but you, no. Jeffy, you don't say that. Uh, uh, yeah, you can add on it. We were not so faithful. We, we, we yeah. have another one. Uh, uh, no, side chick. Who have second wife yeah, and third no, wife and okay. third wife. Okay, okay. let me print this picture the, for, the, for the, okay. the side chick mm. is happy. Mm. The woman at home, of course, is not happy with the second wife. So, but if you come into our home as a second wife, she will not be happy, Abby. Of course not. Uh -huh. So, what uh, are we saying? Okay, let me paint. I, I just I want to even... Do you... Three wives, though. 
Maya, and they told us that story. They are all very happy. They go to parties together. They follow themselves like this. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? They are happy. Have you seen Obati and Joshua? No. Thank you. I saw them. And his three wives. All of them were dressed the same. Have you seen a lot of your boy? Money. And his four wives. And they are all Money. All of them dressed alike. Imagine they're doing that in poverty. Imagine they'll be fighting and putting things inside people's food. Please, But when there's money, they can all wear the same lace, the same clothes. Please, let me say it. I really think Gary Money after. When are we even going to go to toilets? Ziki bag. What are you saying? Ziki bag. You know that if I only Gary, you can't have profit. Let's take some tweets, please. Let's take some tweets. Ziki bag says, so you have a dick. Cheat doesn't mean he doesn't love you. Please note. Bronze says, love forgives all. If your husband cheats at his moment of weakness and he asks for forgiveness, then you should forgive and move ahead with your marriage. Prince Abdul says. Law, rich men cheating is a bit considerable. And as much as I do not support it, because the women have something to remain in the marriage for. But poor man cheating, Kai, that one is very bad. I'm <laughs> <laughs> funny it's enough, painful. poor man seems to be the one who cheats the most. <laughs> <laughs> but then they say, nice talk, Jare, why K? Nigerian women are just shying away from the truth. When I go remain in your papa house, tired. 90% of Nigerian men are polygamous in nature and cheat. But you, your man hasn't gotten caught yet, and you think he's a <laughs> sin. Oh, you have to miss if I will listen. In a situation like this, patience and contentment is the key point. I hear you. Olori, Olori, Osenuga says, you know, the biggest selling business in Nigeria, yeah. short time joints. <laughs> <laughs> ah, who goes there? Is it, is it single men? No. Please. Why why they the people that they have, have nowhere to take their wife. I don't want, yeah. to, close this, I don't want to close this show. Maya, there's, there's a very valid question. We are not there's saying cheating. Val there's a I, I, valid question, question here. Okay. I have not said cheating is okay, 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 good or bad. Oluwe Mimo Adeni says, should our values be based on material wealth? or morals to uphold the society. Simple. Because you. at the end of the day, the society is the, the family is the um, smallest unit of the society. And if we think that cheating is okay and we allow, the men we have today is because of what they believe is okay, the society accepts it. Because we need to start to change Maya the culture. Quick, I believe that when you're married, Mariah, regardless of what happens in your marriage, every marriage goes through um, thick and thin. Mm -hmm. Stay in your marriage, I agree. But we should not make it seem like, eh, if you bring me a Rolls Royce, then cheating is okay. Cheating is not okay by any standard. standard. And that is what we're saying. So, you you not leave that is what you we're saying. Things yes, and but that is what we're saying. But you ask the question. Which would you prefer? Which would you do? How would you handle We're talking of how we would handle it. That we're saying we don't like it. We're unhappy about it. But this wow. is what we would rather do. If I hear that my partner is unfaithful, I will be sad. I guess I will not be. I bet I will not leave him. <laughs> okay. All right. I will Point not in. leave him because I love him. Okay. Not because I think he's doing the right thing or right. the wrong thing. Right. Because, excuse me. I'm only being realistic. Okay. I'm so great. So but unfortunately, YK, if you live in the US, for example, and your husband is cheating on you, you know you get the half. Just like you said. If I can you get half, I, 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 you, I, I would. I would. I would. I get half. They are miserably their half. Full. They are miserably well, their half. If I can get half, I will. Your husband will go on and continue making his, more uh, money. Making money. Accrue uh, money. Remember, Accrue money. money. Go and be making more. I gave her 10 million, but she was very unhappy. No, of course. Because the dream was bigger than that. My last word we on this matter, because I've been money. on both ends of the divide, is that if the man is Risa going to cheat... Risa says no last word for you. Put it on Twitter. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Twitter. Unfortunately, that's all we can take on this show. It's our GC Thursday. I hope you enjoyed the show. It was a bit loud, right? we know, but when we may get all excited about this kind of marriage stories, they get loud. That's all we can take on the show. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>